Renault F1 Managing Director Cyril Abitboul is aiming to use the final four races of 2017 to get a jump start on next year's campaign, after securing the early arrival of Carlos Sainz. The team parted company with Jolyon Palmer after the Japanese Grand Prix in order for Sainz to transfer from Toro Rosso sooner than had originally been expected. We would like to thank Jolyon for his efforts with the Renault Sport team over the last two seasons, Abitboul said this week. He has worked extremely hard to help the team and we have always appreciated his professionalism and loyalty. We wish him the very best for his future. Abite Buell was now looking forward to the beginning of a new era for the team at the next race on the calendar. We welcome Carlos to the team ready for the United States Grand Prix, he continued. We are looking forward to working with him. His arrival is important for the remainder of this season, he said, and also for our 2018 season preparations. It gives us an advantage to use these final four races with Carlos in the car as a transitional period, and get him up to speed with the car and the team. Sainz is on loan to Renault in 2018 as part of a complex arrangement involving engines deals. He will be a big loss to Toro Rosso, having won 48 of the team's tally of 52 points. Sainz ready to hit the ground running in Austin Renault is currently in 8th place in the Constructors' Championship, 10 points behind Toro Rosso. Sainz's relocation could easily turn that around in the remaining races of the season. The U.S. Grand Prix is an important race for us, as we remain in the fight for fifth place in the constructor standings, agreed Abite Pool. The car will benefit from upgrades in Austin and it's therefore essential we score points. He was frustrated that the team had lost ground after failing to score any of the two most recent races in Malaysia and Japan. We are hugely disappointed to go back-to-back -back races without scoring a point, which has benefited our rival teams. Our strategy with both cars on Sunday in Japan put us into a good position, he pointed out. But a flat pivot bracket failed on the rear wing of Nico's car and forced him out. We are missing out on points due to reliability, and it's essential that we have an error-free weekend in Austin. Gallery The beautiful wives and girlfriends of F1 drivers keep up to date with all the F1 news via Facebook and Twitter.